guys hello guys hi welcome back to our channel mm -hmm. my name is esther and here's daudu as usual, as usual daudu. yeah and we are daudu, daudu and, and esther. esther yeah guys thank you all for liking our previous video thank you for subscribing to our channel and if you're watching us for the first time and you haven't subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe please please and don't forget to comment on our videos like our videos share videos with your family and friends please 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 yeah guys okay. before we start before we start <laughs> so everyone isn't she looking beautiful today oh she's looking gorgeous looking <laughs> as always though. thanks babe yeah all right guys so back to today's video we want to talk about uh, an important topic. Yeah. Yeah. Which is going to cause trouble <laughs> on the internet. Jesus. It's not going to cause any trouble, guys, but it's quite important to a relationship. It's going to cause trouble. It's not. It's quite important. To, it's quite important to relationships, we think. And the topic is having like an opposite sex as your best friend while you're in a serious relationship or while you're in a kind of courtship right yeah, in courtship. yeah. then having an opposite sex as your best friend what do you guys think about that what do you think about having an opposite sex as your best friend while in a relationship a serious relationship so guys that's what we're going to be talking about today so babe Okay, so I, I think this is where you know, I'll come though, because I'm the talkative guy. So today, uh, basically, for us, our opinion, we have our own, both of us have our own opinion. So our opinion is, for us, we feel it's not okay yeah. to have an opposite, opposite sex, sex as your best as your friend. Be best friend, don't get us wrong. <laughs> it's okay to have a friend. Yeah. Okay, it's okay to, you can have a friend, definitely. But having an opposite sex... As your best friend, we are not saying your sister here or your brother, right? Yeah, no, no, that's don't, don't, true. Don't that's, get us wrong. We are not saying your mom or your, your family members. Or no. your father. You mean an outsider, probably somebody your girlfriend doesn't really know much about. about or yeah. probably somebody you as a boyfriend, you don't know much about. So we feel, for us, we feel it's not right to yeah. have someone like that as your best friend. As your best friend. Yeah, because when you say best friend, you mean... For someone. us, it means somebody you confide to. Yeah. So, and if you don't have your partner, partner. <laughs> as your best friend, then you having an outsider as your best friend because I. What do you guys want to be gisting about? <laughs> so you have to be filling up, filling in the person with every Everything single thing going on, yeah. going on in your relationship as best friends. And personally, I feel to me. If you're in a relationship with somebody and the person is not your best friend, then why are you guys in a relationship in the first place? Mm -hmm. Because if you're supposed to be dating someone you intend on getting married to, or you guys are in a very serious relationship and considering marriage, I don't see why you should have someone else as your best friend to confide in, someone else to talk to. Mm -hmm. It's okay to have best friends like, I'm a girl, I have a best friend that is a girl, that's fine. But having an opposite sex as your best friend, a best friend while you guys are in a serious relationship, it really doesn't make much sense to me. For, for, for Actually, the thing is, we, we, we don't want you guys to get us wrong. Please yeah. don't get us wrong. And we're not asking you to... We're not asking you to... <laughs> apply or like, to... Yeah, by all means, fall into our own opinion, please. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you and your partner happy. If you and your partner have opposite sex as, as your, your best friend, friend it's fine. It's if fine. you guys are, if you are comfortable with it, then fine. You can move on with it. You're okay with it. But if you are not, then you might likely listen to it. But if you are not, then it's fine. You can just go on with it and then be happy. That's just the thing. Yeah. But personally, we we just think it's not right because the minute you have, for example, I have a female friend that is my best friend. First of all, what do I want to just to the person? Mm -hmm. What am I going to be telling the person? When I mean best friend, that means let's put ourselves in a situation whereby your best friend and your girlfriend ends up having um, an important issue 
and you need to attend to one of, one them, of them at a particular <laughs> time then you've put yourself in a crosswalk because you feel like this is my best friend she's somebody i really really confide in and we really really talk a lot and she's more or less like almost like a girlfriend exactly to me. because that's how you're going like to look she's almost like a girlfriend to, to me and this is my girlfriend <laughs> then who am i going to attend to then you put yourself in the middle and trust me not all partners are, will be comfortable with you having, having an opposite, opposite sex, sex as as best friend because every time oh right now you're like what are you doing i'm talking to my best I'm friend, talking to my best friend. <laughs> talking to your best friend uh, you know tola that i told you of now tola like, <laughs> of, like we consider our relationship going to the next level of either considering ourselves for marriage and all that so like then i had this best friend that i saw so much that oh this is my best friend we've been best friends since i was young and all that and so i like feeling in the person in everything that's happening with me i know most time boo was always complaining like really who are you talking to I'm like i'm talking to my best friend blah 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 bestie bff and it's like really is i don't like it it's not cool and i'm always like are you, are you being jealous or something this person is just my friend the person knows that we are dating the person knows about us so why are you going to be jealous and all that okay to cut the long story short we, we talked about that and somehow i was able to you know stop that too much best friend thing between us and just make the person a, a casual friend like you understand not the one i have to feel in every 10 to 20 minutes about what's happening with you and all that so that ended okay fast forward to boo boo also had a friend and <laughs> He also started talking to this person and opposite sex also as a friend and all that i started feeling so bad like really like you you're having an opposite sex as your friend and i can remember then when he used to tell me that i don't like this i don't like that i was always very angry at him that really why wouldn't you do this why wouldn't you do that like i didn't even put myself in his shoes to understand how it was like until he had a friend that is a girl and they were not even as close as i was close to my <laughs> best friend then and all that so we ended up settling the whole thing and ever since then we decided not to have any opposite sex as like best friend best or friends or whatever friend just forget it it doesn't work out it's, it's not going to work out it doesn't make any sense if you have a girlfriend or you have a partner you guys are considering like future plans together and then having another part another person as a best friend so to just cut the long story short i don't think it's even healthy for your relationship because at some point we are all humans it makes the one person like it makes you guys start having different feelings about each other why should you be talking to somebody for this long why should you, you get... as, aside from that i feel we are humans and sometimes temptation doesn't have the barriers or anything it's it can actually just easily catch up with you oh you've confided a lot with into this person, person and at the end of the day you feel like this person is your personal person like you feel secured with this person so it gets so intimate that sometimes you might just feel like oh there is no big deal she's my friend then yeah. probably you guys are in the room and there's no light and something ends up happening somewhere somewhere and trust me you many people might say you might be you should you need to be matured it doesn't why <laughs> we are humans we have that feeling it's in us we have that temptation doesn't hit temptation hits pastors <laughs> even pastors that like, you see it hits pastors most so even as human you think can hit you so don't deceive yourself yeah. and start telling yourself like yeah, this um, person is my best just friend. My friend. You, oh. know, you, know, you don't be jealous. You should know when to do. trust me. Even if nothing will happen, because let's just hope nothing will happen. <laughs> but trust me, can you give me that nine hundred percent assurance that nothing will happen when push comes to shove? <laughs> so that's the thing. It's, you need to be careful. That's just it. It's okay to have friends. Probably like a family friend. You have a friend that even your wife knows much about yeah a general family friend a the general, is called it's not a just, general family it's friend. not just so situation yeah party. so situations yeah. whereby if the friend is calling my wife can end up picking the phone and say hey 
What's Hola, up? What's up? Uh, <laughs> how are you? And everything. It's a different case compared to when just one person one has person. only the friend to themselves. <laughs> and they stick to say, This is my friend. This, this is, is my, my friend. friend. Yeah. Uh, which we, we think is not right. So that's just it. So, guys, this topic today might be talking to someone out there considering to have a best friend or thinking like, Should, should. I have a best friend in my relationship or I have a best friend and my partner is not cool with it and I think my partner something is actually wrong with he or she why shouldn't you be cool with it so probably this video might help you out in deciding what you think should be best for you uh -huh. and yeah that's the end of this video we love you all it's a very short topic to just talk about we just had to tell your own opinions about it and our little experience with the whole best friend thing yeah yeah and if you haven't subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe to our channel please share our videos and don't forget to comment and like we love you all thank you for always watching and supporting us see you Catch bye, you. bye.